welcome back. We're going to be dealing with uh, the XML editor now, rather than object builder, uh, because that will other people have already um, worked with object builder, um, and there have been some new changes on the 29th of October, 2022. So we'll uh, we'll work that one through a different video, uh, but for now we'll work with XML editor. Now, XML editor. is an editor to a degree and you can apply changes uh, and stuff but I would recommend it for most admins to actually mess about with this uh, but for uh, but for normal admins it's very handy to have access to this just make sure that your normal admins don't change anything so what you can do with XML editor you can find where stuff is so uh, for instance, uh, pot, cooking pots. How many cooking pots? And why people complain, oh, I can't find a cooking pot. So, let's have a look. Type in pot, select it from the list, get item stats. And this will now show you, at the bottom left, how many are on the map, and it will now show you where they are. A fun fact that you can zoom in, zoom out, scroll bar. Scroll wheel, sorry. Can't uh, make this bigger. So there's no double click on this one. Don't need to. An interactive map. There is a pot laying there. Now, that's all well and good. Oh, it's all the way over there. I've got to go there. No, you don't. You actually can teleport on this map alone. On the XML editor map, you can teleport. Just double click right where the object is. And you will be teleported reasonably close or into, onto, whatever structure. And cooking pot. Hmm. Don't need pot but, you, know. um, you can do this with other things as well. Now, although I've picked it up, it doesn't show. I'd have to close this, get item stats again, to find it has moved. So it's not. Um, it's not dynamically updating all the time. It updates only when you search. So if something gets picked up or moved, then that'll be it. Now it works also. Other things like uh, animals. Animal. Now let's have a look for a brown cow. What a Taurus is. So we'll get stats for brown cow. And there are three brown cows on the map. One there. Where else are we? Oh, there's two down here. Let's have a look at the brown cow. Just teleport, double click, and we're next. And the brown cow is here. Oh, and now the brown cow is not up. Very happy about that. Bye bye, brown cow. Players. Can you do it with players? I hear you ask. Well, maybe you're not asking that. I don't think you can. I don't think Survivor. Oh, yes, you can. Look at that. Survivor. Now, Fun bit. How do you know who is who? Oh, Helga. Survivor Helga. That's this character I'm on. This is a Survivor Helga. But unless you know what this object is, not the player. Not a player. That's uh, those are male, Survivor Male Mirek. Uh, Survivor Eva Frida. That's all well and good, but it's not very helpful. So, uh, for looking for players, uh, player manager, teleport tools, let's have a look at something that we can work with handsaw, get item stats. There are 60 on the server. So, immediately you can say to people, oh, I can't, they say, I can't find a handsaw. So we'll go to Berezino. There's loads in Berezino. You don't, don't need to tell them exactly where it is. You know, have a look in Berezino. There's a fair few there. Wonderful. You can have a preview of what you're looking at. So, roughly, move it around. It's a 3D object. You can scroll and mouse. Move it around with your left click mouse. Yep. And this is where it gets a little bit more complicated for the average admin looking for something. Is wonderful. No, none of those on the map. No. That's a BBP. So that's a modded item that hasn't spawned in. 
haven't I haven't allowed it this morning. These are other objects, loads of objects. So you really need to know what you're looking for. Uh, somebody says I can't find. What can't we find? Um, a gun. Let's try an AS50. Is there such a thing? Nope. Uh, how about an SPD? SPD. There we go. Oh, look, there's no SPDs on the map. Two. Look, there's two SPDs. And you can say, there are two SPDs. Oh, I can't find them. And give them a hint. Because for instance, what is that there? Why is there an SVD at that location? Let's double click and go and have a look. It's a trash pile. Believe it or not, there's an SVD here. And it's right on the floor next to it. Look at that. Doesn't have a clip, but it's got a scope. And that's wonderful. But it's only on the floor, right there. In a trash pile. Wouldn't believe it, would you? Wonder what else is here. There. That's up to you. You can find out what's in the trash pile. I'm sure there's more stuff here. But anyway, so you can double click. Remember, you can double click on the XML editor screen to teleport near to the object you're looking at. Just got to find it. So, wonderful. Okay. So what's about the rest? The rest don't really want to mess with. Because you can, you can change the way the server runs if you're not, not careful. Let's, for instance, let's look at the, uh, uh, let's look at a mining XML. Right, okay. There's nothing in there. But I do know there is stuff in there. It's important. You've got to know what the what the thing is. Personally, I never mess about with this. I've uh, very not worried. No, it's not working very well. Let's try something else. Go for the root. Um, do SPDs. We know there's, there's only two SPDs on the map. So we can come here. Yeah, we're in the types XML. We load selected. We wait for a second. Now, on the left, you'll see that the detail is now filled in. And you can see it shows a minimum of two on the map. You can mouse over it. It'll give you a, uh, an extra. I need a cup of tea. I'm talking too much. So, uh, nominal five, minimum two. We can actually change that. But anything you change here will not activate until the server restarts. So, it's not really worth messing about here. It's better to actually edit the types file offline, outside of the environment, the messing about here because if you make a mistake here you won't know about it until the server restarts and then it's too late and if you uh, again if you make a big mistake here you're you're in for trouble so xml editor is really nice for finding things um uh, get item stats that's fine um as far as this information on the left don't bother with it it's not worth the effort uh, not worth getting yourself in trouble for and messing the server up. Better to edit the file offline where it's safe and you can make a duplicate. You can't make a duplicate in this room. Um, and that's it for XML Editor. Next will be Object Builder and will be quite a, a detailed, long winded affair. So, good luck on that and uh, bye for now.